The world's largest water lilies are blooming in a tropical greenhouse at London's Kew Gardens. Behind the scenes, scientists here are preparing to display for the first time the world's smallest water lily. This plant been your hardest challenge? It was discovered in Rwanda in 1987. These are some of the only photos of the lily in the wild, found by a German scientist on the edges of a thermal spring. He collected samples that eventually ended up here. Kew botanist Carlos Magdalena tried for months, but the seeds wouldn't grow like other water lilies. So he tracked down a description of where the lily was originally found. This water lily actually doesn't grow in a lake or in a river or in a pond. It grows in a, in a thermal hot spring, which bubbles water up. Rwanda's brutal genocide in 1994 threatened the rare thermal water lily. The genocide and the war in neighboring Congo displaced millions of people. As Rwandans returned and rebuilt, the water lily's habitat was altered and the plant became extinct in the wild. Magdalena replicated the plant's original environment and the lilies thrived. So you start like this. It's tiny, almost impossible to see leaves and then they then they develop further. Except for one plant sample in a German botanical garden. Nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, These are the only thermal lilies anywhere in the world. There are about 40 of them. Eventually, scientists here would like to take some plants back to Africa. Stephen Hopper is the director of Kew Gardens. We're, we're on the track to, to bringing it back to Rwanda. We, we have more um, plants in cultivation than were originally seen in the wild before it went extinct. Um, but uh, we, we have only just worked out how to um, germinate it and, and bulk up the numbers, so it'll, it'll take a few years. For now, the tiny lily from Rwanda will live and, many hope, flourish here in Britain. Jennifer Glass for VOA News, Kew Gardens, London.